Fox 5 has returned to Maui to follow up on the people impacted by the deadly fires in Lahaina. We were there back in August after the fire broke out, and we are showing you the resiliency as the community rebuilds. The fire happened three months ago this week, and for many people that we have talked to, it is like it happened yesterday. And beyond the tragedy and economic downturn, environmentally, since the 1990s, West Maui has tradition, uh, transitioned away from large plantation to small diversified agriculture, which has created more unmanaged land and also more wildfire risk. The question of how to restore power lines is also in question right now, but also rising sea levels presents a challenge to moving them underground. There's also work underway right now to address wildfire victims' mental health. That is complicated by much of Lahaina's healthcare infrastructure being destroyed. And let's go over to Fox 5's Joe Vigil, who is there live for us. Joe, you with some other Fox 5 staffers are there. You've been there for a few days now. What's recovery like for people that you've talked to? Yeah, you know, uh, Kim, it's tough. I mean, I mean, it's uh, every day seems extremely difficult. Now, as you can see behind me, just an absolutely uh, stunning day, not just here in Kihei, but all around Maui. But behind all of this beauty, guys, is a community that is struggling and will struggle for a very long time. Now, that includes graduate of UNLV, Crizel Serrano. She lives here in Lahaina. Now, we talked to her just a couple days ago. We talked to her about how things are going, how life has been. And, uh, you know, it's tough because this fire destroyed the family's home. So we sat down with her. We sat down with her mother uh, and the grandmother, and we had a long conversation with all of them. And I can tell you that today would actually be a very difficult day for Crizel because it's windy. Um, there was a red flag warning uh, over in West Maui where Lahaina is and the schools over there were closed today because of the wind. Of course, we all know what happened with the wind and the fire in Lahaina. Um, so that was a big concern and the wind is a big concern for her. Loud noises are a big concern for her. So again, we sat down with her. This is what she told me. While I was driving, she could hear that boom, boom sound, you know. And then when I was telling people what I went through that day, they're like, those are cars exploding. And I was like, what? So now every time I hear it sound that makes a boom sound or whatever, I get scared, I shake. And then when I, when it's windy, I get so scared too, because I'm like, holy crap, what if there's going to be another fire? I don't know. It's still fresh to me, so. Yeah, so definitely triggers, uh, guys. Uh, I mean, just, again, just the wind, uh, yeah. you know, terrifying for a lot of people because, of course, so. Uh, just terrifying because you know when this fire broke out of course the wind blew everything all over the place and and uh, you know we're seeing triggers from people I talked to a, another person this morning here in Kihei and he told me the very same thing he was concerned uh, when the wind uh, just blows you know a little bit and and I also want to tell you when I talked to uh, Grizel I also talked to her mother and you know she was in tears as well you know talking about losing the family home and I communicated with uh, her since that interview and she wrote me a text and she apologized for crying of course mm -hmm. I told her there's absolutely no need to apologize after what happened I mean it's a horrible thing that happened and you really got to let it out but their concern was is you know they were talking in front of a lot of other family members and they wanted to be strong for them um, so they didn't want to cry um, because you know they're trying to battle through this and and as you just saw right there I mean that's the battle that is now taking place, you know, every day for a lot of people. Um, I mean, you know, how can you not think about this? I mean, every minute of the day, um, they try not to, but again, there's these little triggers and, and, and that's what happens, guys. I mean, so, I mean, that's why we're here. We just sat there and we listened to them. Grizel talked for a long time and, and we just listened to her and her mom you know, thanked us for that because she thinks that was helpful for her because she got a lot off her chest. I mean, she just got to talk about it, and that's what a lot of people are doing together is talking about what happened. Oh, well, Joe, thank you so much for that report. Much appreciated. And, and of course, we're going to be hearing uh, uh, throughout the week on uh, what's going on in Maui right now, just a few months after that fire. Thank you, Joe. And Joe will join us again coming up at 530 with an update on donation distributions there. Joe, along with our executive producer and Maui native Monica Schmidt, will continue our special coverage all week long. We will bring you live reports with updates on donations, tourism and recovery efforts following the wildfires.